Michael and I had the idea for Weldon Mills. It's kind of a funny story. A lot of what we used to do together involved drinking bourbon, smoking cigars. Um, I was active duty at the time in the Army. Michael, you know, was in business. We've always talked about, you know, hey, when I retire, let's figure out something to do. Sitting on my back porch one day, having a little bourbon, a little cigar. I'm like, oh my God. And it came to me. So I sent him a text. I said, hey man, you gonna make booze? And the answer was yes. So from there, we had to figure out what we needed to do to make it happen. Our core operation, we wanna make it a destination. You know, when you walk into a distillery, a bourbon distillery in Kentucky, it's magical, right? It's the smell, it's all massive experience. We want to give folks that experience here, but we want to enhance it a little bit. We've got this beautiful river here. We've got two buildings along the river. We want to bring in a trolley. We've got a boardwalk planned out so people can walk along the grounds and they can come here and spend a day just walking along the river, getting engulfed in all that is bourbon and spirit making. The best part about bourbon is you taste it. It's got deep complexity. It's an amazing spirit and it's supposed to be enjoyed amongst friends. What we take pride in is providing someone with a bourbon that they can enjoy amongst friends and knowing that they're drinking our bourbon. There's something cool to that. I mean, it's, it's, really, it's really great to just think that folks are out there, maybe around a campfire or something like that, enjoying our bourbon and spirits. We really enjoyed this whole process. Been some frustrations along the way. Learning curve was steep, but it's been a great ride. We can't wait to see what the future holds.